offer this Eucharist in thanksgiving for the life of John Patrick Foley, priest, bishop, cardinal of the Holy Roman Church, truly through and through a man of God, a holy man, totally committed to Jesus Christ and his church, a most effective communicator, surely, but more and much more, a zealous evangelizer who preached Christ by word and deed and example. I willingly join you in commending this noble soul to God, the Father of all masses. I also pray that his lifelong commitment to the Church's presence in the media will inspire others to take up this apostolate so essential to the proclamation of the gospel and the progress of the new evangelization. Archbishop Chaput, bishops, priests, religious, and people of this noble Archdiocese of Philadelphia, this only child of John and Regina Foley considered you his family. Never did he st stop talking about and bragging about this Archdiocese of Philadelphia as much as many of us begged him to. <laughs> so to you go our condolences for what is really a death in the family. And to you goes this encouragement, hold your heads high a local church that can give us the likes of such a noble gentleman whose message literally went out to the ends of the earth is a church which can endure and come out ever the stronger in the face of woe and tears. The Vatican's voice of Christmas may now be silent, but the incarnation that made radiant the darkness of that night called silent will never go still. Because the example of friends such as John Patrick Foley inspires us to emulate him and his true Regina, his blessed mother Mary, in providing God a human nature. us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
God of holiness and power, accept our prayers on behalf of your servant, John Patrick. Do not count his deeds against him, for in his heart he desired to do your will. As his faith united him to your people on earth, so may your mercy join him to the angels in heaven. We ask this through Christ our Lord.